We're at the Caudal Net Zero Energy Home Project here, and we're going to talk about integrated night ventilation cooling, which is a key part of our mechanical systems design in this high-performance uh, project. With me here today is Dave Springer from Davis Energy Group, one of the inventors of this system. Dave, can you tell us quickly what, what is night ventilation cooling, integrated night ventilation cooling? Well, night ventilation cooling is really uh, stems back to you know being able to open windows at night to bring in cool night air and ventilate the building naturally, and it cools off the mass of the building. And uh, then when you close the windows in the morning, that cool mass absorbs heat during the next day and keeps the building comfortable and reduces the amount of air conditioning you need. So integrated ventilation cooling utilizes the fan of the heating and air, condition, air conditioning system to bring in outside air and ventilate it, uh, distributing it through the ducting that's normally used for heating and cooling. And it does that automatically. Uh, it doesn't require windows be open because it will vent the, the air, excess air, into the attic and then outdoors. Uh, so that, that in a nutshell is what it is. It, we um, became involved in its development uh, fairly early on. There was a team of researchers uh, from UC Berkeley and, and other universities that looked at both the, the scientific and technical uh, as well as the sociological aspects of ventilation uh -huh. cooling. And we worked with them on developing the mechanical components that uh, would make it possible to, to apply. So now this is something that's very special to our California climate, correct? Because the, the idea is that since we're coastally influenced, right, mm -hmm. and overnight we tend to have temperatures where we're here in San Jose and the South Bay area, temperatures between 55 and 60 often, the low right. point during the day. So that means that's basically free cooling energy, if you will, correct? That's right. And in this climate, uh, it's very likely that you can completely avoid the use of air conditioning, whereas in more uh, temperate climates like the Central Valley, uh, you, it, there, there are many nights when you can avoid air conditioning altogether, but there are also some days when it doesn't cool off at night <clears throat> enough to uh, off completely uh, eliminate the air conditioning use, but it does reduce it. And, <clears throat> excuse me, um, there are many climates in the West and, uh, you know, uh, northern Nevada and, and New Mexico and Colorado and, and uh, Utah, many states where you have that 30 degree, about 30 degree overnight temperature swing that, that you need to make ventilation and cooling work. So it's not just California, but it works really well in this, in this particular climate. But one of the intents, of course, then, is uh, making um, cooling uh, more affordable, if you will. So we're trying to sa basically save energy in the process. It right. sounds like really what we're doing is we're, instead of using an air conditioner, we're just using a fan. Is right. that correct? That's right. Okay. Yeah. So, so this much less energy. And much less energy. In fact, um, the history in this project was we, we learned about the system. Uh, we'll talk about it more specifically. This is the Night Breeze system uh, invented by Dave and his colleagues, uh, Davis Energy Group. And um, we, we found out about it and uh, incorporated it immediately. And during our modeling process, uh, as a passive house here, lots of extensive modeling, and the addition of night ventilation cooling into the model uh, as you suggested, basically says that I if air conditioning is used at all, it might be once or twice during a summer season where we had a, what we would call a heat storm here of extended right. you know, 90, 100 degree plus days. But otherwise, that uh, night ventilation cooling gradually uh, every night can remove all the internal heat gains and solar heat gains uh, very quietly, efficiently, and for you know, basically pennies it's 10 or 12 cents a day worth of, uh, of, uh, of energy. Yeah, that's right. 